Yo, this is Wilbert with Munchies. I'm about to link up with one of the greatest rappers of all time. We're gonna talk to Scarface about his brand new album, his brand new book, and what it's like when your mind is playing tricks on you. Mission Canteen is known for doing some of the most craziest Mexican food. Chef Zach Swimley is gonna serve us up a wild lunch. All right, so it's time to meet him. Let's go. Uh, you guys wanna order? You want me to cook for you? What's this right here? It's raw beef heart. That's a raw beef heart. Raw beef heart. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I just want to try some carrots, man. Some barbecue carrots. Barbecue carrots? Right. I can bring out a couple other dishes, whatever mm, works. No. Go. Carrots only. Carrots. I'm scared as fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to even try something now. You know, like, <laughs> he sneaked that beef heart in on my ass. Huh? I'm not going to sneak the beef I have a fucking, But I don't want to eat no owl brain and shit either. Though. <laughs> like, don't fucking surprise me. Don't, just try it. Don't, that's not gonna happen. I won't do it. All right, I'm just like, man, like for real, like give him all of that shit. And give me it. So Mission Cantina is a concept that Danny Bone came up with probably close to two years ago when I started working for him at Mission Chinese Food. The food we want to eat, we don't want to go to a nice dinner all the time. We want to eat a taco or eat Chinese food. He doesn't necessarily play by the rules, like. You know, it's very free and open to do whatever. I think, like, that's why I enjoy working for him. Uh oh, this ain't good. Oh no. All right, I got a couple things here. If you want to try them, how hard? What is that? This oh, I don't eat cucumbers. No. Here's part of that. Cool. <laughs> how about this? What is that? Cauliflower, carrots, jalapenos, onions. I, I pick it's at it. It's kind of it. Jardiner, so it's like pickles. It tastes like pickles? Yeah, a little bit. Can we taste it? Man, it's cauliflower. Oh, fuck, this is good. <laughs> good Lord. It's good? That's actually good enough, motherfucker. This is hot. <laughs> Shit, a cauliflower. What is that? I guess it's kind of like broccoli. You know what I mean? Like, that's, at least that's what I think about it, like a white, a white broccoli. Is that racist? <laughs> What's your workout regimen like? Run and, and up, your, up your water intake. How many reps you do? I don't work out at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for scratch. <laughs> if you're working, you, work you know, chest or arms or legs or whatever, instead of doing, you know, five sets of 10, do 10 sets of 20. Well, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna fucking, like next time you see me, my shirt gonna go from here to like there. <laughs> my neck, like I said, my neck gonna be fucked up. <laughs> and they're gonna be all tore up. I'm gonna be swole as fuck. Alright, it's the shrimp ceviche. But the, what is that? On yeah, the top of it? Cilantro. It's the same on that one. No, what is this thing? That's avocado. Give him the avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the other. What's this on the bottom? Uh, it's a lime mayonnaise. Oh, no, nah, you gotta take this off. You can take, yeah, you can have them things. <laughs> You don't have to use no fork. Just pull your, take your hand and take that shit off of there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this shit is good, ain't it, man? So I'm gonna grab me a couple pieces of this shit. And you can have the rest. This shit is excellent. Like I guess you just gotta try shit, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually excellent. Wow. So yeah, man, I can't really even even tell you how excited I was to have the opportunity to talk to you, man. Cause I've like really grown up just listening to music and Ghetto Boys is my, my dad's favorite. Favorite, favorite group. Oh, so shit, play that. made me feel old and no, shit. Like Ghetto saying. Boy, like my daddy. <laughs> no, but like... My daddy like y'all shit. No, 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 I love it. I mean, I used to, he used to play it for me going to going to elementary school, going to first grade. Like, you know, we can't be stopped and stuff. Those, those records are incredible. And the Diary is like one of my all-time favorite records. Like, I love I love it, man. So you got coming out with a new album. I, I, you know, I thought uh, the last record was going to be... It was. A record. Mm -hmm. What made you want to come back into the game? I really missed it. I really wanted to make a dope album. The best part about it was I was doing it for myself this time. Are there any new themes that you kind of talk about or get into on this record that are different from where you were at before? I think that rather, rather than looking at taking the approach from, you know, like I'm trying to tap into what the youngsters are doing, I just took the approach of, a, of an adult. That's real. So that's carrots and onions. What's this? Seaweed. Like out of the damn, Lake seaweed. <laughs> Is this edible? Yep. No. That's the grass part of the carrot, man. You can't eat that shit. That should have killed you. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Dude, you got. You know what? You got. No, you can't try it. <laughs> Bro, you serious? That's. 
It's really good. We were talking about how you were making the approach of, taking the approach of not, you know, yeah, trying to- I look like a, 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 a grown ass man talking about turn up. Right. You think there's too much trend hopping with, with rappers today? I think to each his own. Mm -hmm. You know, I love them being they self, but I can't do them. I gotta do me. Right. And I think that's what a lot of older musicians or artists, I think they missed the mark trying to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, you know, well, shit, I'm, I know I'm fucking 75 years old now. I can't, I can't rap like I'm fucking 12 no more. Right. You know, I think that's fucking crazy that you, your subject matter is, is that of a fucking teenager. I did want to ask you, like, you guys did so much powerful political, all through your whole career, you've done really powerful political statements and stuff like that. I was wondering. Do you feel like things have changed a lot in between like the late 80s, early 90s and now? Like in terms of, you know, the prospects for a young black men? I think things are way worse. You think things are worse? I just know that they are against a totally different animal. Like what would you say are some things that young men need to be looking out for right now? Like what should we be, what should well, we be? Well, I know it's unsafe for uh, little uh, teenagers to walk their neighborhood. It's, 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 it's unsafe for teenagers to listen to their music at a loud level. Right. You know, it's unsafe to be a kid. It's unsafe to be a black kid. I mean, how the fuck can you stand your ground on a child? Right. Why do you think the reason is the politics are not in music? Is it because the, art, the young people that are making it don't know it? Or is it because there's someone, some kind of corporation or corporate media behind it? It used to be a, it used to be a um, politically charged game. I think if you take the politics out of it all, you take the education out of it, you just got a generation of dummies running around here just blabbing off at the mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the way I feel about this shit. I could be wrong. So you're too young to remember this, but I remember when whack MCs got no play. If you was a fucking whack ass rapper, they didn't fuck with you. Right. They, 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 they booed you. Nowadays, it makes it cool to be whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only a couple of dope-ass rappers that, that, that you're gonna hear in the mainstream right, right. now. Back in the Gap, like, you, we had tours and... It was just, it, it was just, it was, a, it was just something dope. You felt like you was a part of something great, man. You know, Ghetto Boys, Too Short, N.W.A., you know, Eminem, Dr. Dre, like, you know, great shows, right. man. You knew you was gonna be, like, yeah. outcast. You knew that you was coming to see a hell of a fucking right. show. Hey man, well thank you so much for talking. I really appreciate Bro, it. Bro, like I appreciate you having me to, you know, to do this shit yeah. and sharing some some great whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> um, let's see, what was my favorite? I think the fried monkey brain was the best. <laughs> thank you for trying. No, no, nah, nah, that's what I was saying. That's what I just said try. <laughs> Dude, great. Like it, it's a try. It's more like that's like a try. Like like bring some shit out and let me try it. Right. I like guess it's gonna be very difficult to order, you know, from the menu. You're gonna be like, you know what? Tell them what you don't like, and then he'll bring the shit out. You feel me? And like I said, it was excellent. Now, if, if I had to say what it was, or what kind of restaurant it is, it's like a try it. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> try it, you'll like it. Dude, I ain't never in my life ever thought I would like the way fucking cauliflower tasted. <laughs>